students, welcome to 60 out of 60 in KSET Chemistry in 2025 series just in 200 days. So yes, we are going to complete today the first chapter of Organic Chemistry in PU2 that is Hello Alkins and Hello Arenes. So yes, we have already completed three parts of this chapter and today is the last part where we are going to discuss about the polyhalogen compounds. Okay. So there are just six compounds, questions are not very much asked from this but yes, sometimes it may be asked so we should be fully prepared. Okay, so not a very big lecture, a very small and a theoretical le le uh, lesson will it this will be okay. So one more important thing, please join our WhatsApp channel. It is because the notes, the question paper, solutions, everything is available in our WhatsApp channel. So the link of the WhatsApp channel will be there in the description section of this video. So please go there, join the WhatsApp channel so that you do not miss out on any important notes. Okay, so yes, champions, let us now get ready. I want everyone to sit with a pen and a paper, uh, sorry, a notebook and note down all the important things and practice questions with me, okay. So yes, as I have already told you that uh, we have covered this chapter in the four parts, every class I am explaining this so that you have a mindset like how are we going to revise on the like suppose you have started this chapter to revise, you should remember that okay first I have to revise the classification, nomenclature and the physical and the nature of the CX bond. Second thing I have to prepare or I have to revise is the preparation of haloalkins, preparation of haloarenes and the physical properties. Next class, next when you go you have to revise the chemical reactions and lastly you have to just overlook the polyhalogen compounds clear so yes now moving the year wise weightage so this one almost three to four questions you can expect every year next coming to polyhalogen compounds so we have four imp uh, sorry six polyhalogen compounds that you have to prepare first is dichloromethane then is trichloromethane then we have triiodomethane and next is tetrachloromethane, then we have freons and then lastly we have DDT, okay. So coming to the first one that is dichloromethane, so just you should know some uses and the harmful effects. So the uses are it is used as a paint remover, propellant in the aerosols, as a process solvent in the manufacture of drugs and as a metal cleaning and finishing solvent. So generally you can say the most important use of this is used as a solvent, clear. Now coming to the harmful effects, it is it is harmful to the uh, central nervous system of the human beings. Now when it is exposed to a lower level means uh, you are exposed to very small quantity of this one. So first of all dichloromethane, the structure is CH2, Cl2, right. So if, it, if you are exposed to this in a very lower level, you will, you will have uh, uh, symptoms like impaired vision and impaired hearing. Now higher level, if you are exposed to the more time, then you can uh, get dizziness, nausea, tingling and numbness in the figures, uh, fingers and toes. Okay. So if you are exposed too much time, then your fingers and toes can be even become numb. You cannot have any sense there. Okay. Now if you have direct skin contact with this one, then it may cause intense burning and mild redness of the skin can happen. And this is very dangerous. If you have direct contact with the eyes, it can even burn your cornea. Okay. So please very uh, remember it is a very a harmful and a very uh, poisonous, I can say dangerous chemicals. So please stay away from this. Okay. Next coming to trichloromethane. So trichloromethane is CHCl3. The common name of this one is chloroform. Okay. Very important one. Okay. Now, so this is also very often used as a solvent. Okay. Solvent for fats, alkaloids, iodines and other substance and it is used for the ref production of freons. Okay. So we'll study whatever, what is freons also, but chloroform has a role in the production of freon refrigerant in R22. So this is the name of a refrigerant in R22. In its preparation, freon uh, is uh, used and for this preparation we need chloroforms okay now coming to the harmful effect it also affects the central nervous system of the humans when it is in the lower level we generally feel dizziness fatigue and headache but when it is in the higher level it can even damage liver kidney and skin okay now if you have direct skin contact then it can have intense burning and mild redness of the skin now slowly there's one important thing here that 
this chloroform if it is exposed to oxygen okay or atmosphere slowly it gets converted to one gas poisonous gas cocl2 which is called as phosgene okay very important and this point is important from the exam point of view also question is also asked what is the structure of phosgene how it is produced so now to prevent this what happens chloroform are stored in okay they are stored in dark bottles they are stored in dark bottles okay clearly so that is what about this is important from where we can get question that if chloroform is exposed to oxygen for a long period of time it gets oxidized and it gets converted to a very poisonous toxic gas that is ch cocl2 called as phosgene so to prevent this the chloroforms are stored in dark bottles okay now coming to the third one that is tri iodomethane okay tri iodomethane is your uh, chi3 okay or we can call it as iodoform so it is used as an antiseptic okay now the antiseptic property is not because of chi3 okay it is due to the liberation of free iodine and not due to the iodoform itself so when this one is there it gives you free iodine okay now this is responsible for the antiseptic properties this is responsible for the antiseptic properties of iodine iodoform next coming to tetrachloromethane so tetrachloromethane is your ccl4 okay now here it is used in the manufacture of refrigerants and propellants okay so for aerosols then the harmful effects are if it is low level you can have dizziness light headache nausea vomiting okay but higher level you can have stupor coma unconsciousness or death irritation in the eyes okay now di direct skin contact is also harmful and one more important thing is this one is responsible for the depletion of the ozone layer okay now coming to the next one that is freons okay the freons what is the definition of freons so the chlorofluorocarbon compounds of the methane and ethane are collectively known as freons okay the chlorofluorocarbon compounds of methane and ethane are collectively called as freons okay it's like for example you have c cl2 f2 okay chloro and fluorocarbons are there then it is called freons now generally these are also used as for aerosol propellants refrigeration air conditioning purpose and these are also harmful to the environment because once they reach to the stratosphere of our atmosphere they are able to initiate the chain reaction radical chain reactions which can cause your ozone depletion okay so that is why these are again harmful next coming to the last one that is ddt so this is a insecticide okay earlier it was used as an insecticide but with time what happened the insects and the insects with against whom it was used they developed a resistance against this okay they developed antibodies against this so after some time this Uh, could not kill the insects and all okay and this is a very stable compound so once it goes to the, enter the body of the animals it used to stay in their tissues okay it uh, stays in their tissues and it is not removed from their body so it is very harmful for them so the chemical stability of ddt and its fat solubility compounded this problem okay now uh, ddt is not metabolized very rapidly by animals instead it is deposited and stored in the fatty tissues of the animal if ingestion continues at a steady rate ddt builds up within the animal over time okay the use of ddt therefore was banned okay now you can just see the structure of ddt question sometimes from the structures can also be asked so you can remember now um, how many chlorines are there in the ddt so we have one chlorine here two three four and then we have five chlorines okay so just remember the structure of ddt that is important two benzene rings and each benzene ring has one chlorine and then we have one carbon with three chlorine groups clear okay so that's all six proper six uh, polyhalogen compounds we have discussed so now let us practice some questions the first question now which of the following is not a use of methylene chloride okay so methylene chloride if you so we have discussed it is used as paint removal metal cleaning propellants but it is not used as antiseptic if you remember only 
iodoform is used as an antiseptic so correct answer is option number d okay now next question which of the following is an effect of exposure to low levels of dichloromethane in the air so if you have seen low levels of dichloromethane what does what can it cause so let us see this dichloromethane if we have done before uh, yes so lower impact can cause you slight impairedness of hearing and vision right so if we see the answer now so we have slightly impaired vision right correct answer is option number a let us see the next question here the oxidation of trichloromethane results in the formation of a poisonous gas called as so if you remember the gas was cocl2 right it is called carbonyl chloride so the correct answer for this question is option number b the common name was phosgene okay what was the common name phosgene p h o s g e n e okay next one question number 4 what is the reason for iodoform to be used as an antiseptic so it is used due to its ability to liberate free iodine right so correct answer is option number d next coming to the last question which of the following is not a flow freon so in freon we have chlorine and fluorine compounds right so here chlorine is there fluorine is there chlorine is there fluorine is there chlorine fluorine is there but here bromine is there so that is not a freon so correct answer is option number c okay so yes now this is a question for as a homework how many trichloroethanes would be produced when one one dichloroethane reacts with chlorine okay so just try this question okay and i'll be answering this question in the next class if you know the answer do not forget to comment down the answers okay so yes students with now with this we have completed the first organic chapter that is halo alkenes and halo arenes we took four lectures to complete this and i hope all of you have prepared notes and have revised this chapter very thoroughly okay so in the next uh, class will be doing the next lectures from here so yes if you are enjoying this classes if you are thinking that this is helpful for you to get or uh, to understand chemistry and to score good in your kset exam do not forget to subscribe the channel okay so that you can get more such videos do not forget to join our uh, whatsapp channel there you will be getting all the notes and pd uh, the question solutions everything will be provided so yes stay tuned for the next class all the very best for your preparation and thank you for watching okay see you soon in the next class